Hello gamers, the Boulder Skate community recently discovered a way to defeat Auntie Ethel by using Arcane Lock on her stairs to the cellar. If done right, she will not attack and become a dummy. However, I tried that method myself recently, and Ethel still managed to escape, ignoring the lock. So either Lyran has patched this out, or this method is not consistent. So today, I want to show you my method to kill Auntie Ethel easily in her tea house and save everyone in the cave. And you have guessed it, we will be using, of course, Baromancy. Now let's start right in front of Auntie Ethel's tea house. You can see I have a few firewood barrels and oil barrels in each of my companions' inventory. You can easily get those from Volcan's Rest very early on in the game. Once we are ready, split one party member, ready. and let's head inside the tea house and look for Auntie Ethel. Start the conversation. Hello, sweetness. What do you say? Now Auntie Ethel is distracted, we can swap back to other parties. Have to keep going. This is where we will be setting up our barrels. The main idea is stack them up and put them tightly around Auntie Ethel. So the explosion will just kill her and we will remain unharmed. Now the setup is finished, I used 8 barrels, I think 6 will be more than enough, but I just put more for safety measure. Now once we are ready, send the rest of the party far away, but at the same time make sure you can still hit Auntie Ethel like this. Do not attack just yet, Gail is still talking to her. Now let's fall back to Gail, finish the conversation. Ta -ta, Petal. Come see Auntie soon. And immediately go into turn based mode. And we can get Gale to the safety distance as well. Right now, this is time we can attack Anti Ethel. Once we attack, she will transform to the hag. You sought a fight, and now you have one. Her magic will broke, and all her minions will come join the battle. But don't worry, they are only temporary hostile. Now the only thing left to do is to light her up. See, nice and quick. The battle is done. The rest of the minions just left straight away. Remember to loot her body. She has some pretty nice loot. Now, the only reason we do this is to save all her prisoners down in her cave. However, what it means it will also lock you out from the free ability upgrade she will give you should you choose to spare her. Now, I have another video on the channel to show you how you can get a free upgrade. If you're in doubt, make sure to check it out. Now there you have it. This is my way to defeat Auntie Ethel early in the game in her tea house. Let me know in the commentary below what other ways you have used to defeat Auntie Ethel. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. To Baldur's Gate. This isn't over yet.